What's up, guys? It's Green Day Bowser. I'm back with Sailor Moon Adventures. If you did not like the rantiness in the last episode, um, just in case you didn't, I'm going to try to be a little calmer in this one. However, I might still get caught in my rants because I do that sometimes, as you saw in the last one. If you watched the last one, which I highly suggest you do, because the series, pretty much every episode leaves off from where the last one ended, and it would be really weird to go from episode 5 to episode 19 or 20. I believe this is 20. So, I might be wrong. I don't remember. I haven't looked at the numbers. I'll look at them when I actually make the thumbnails, because as you know, I always do special thumbnails for Let's Plays, but not for vlogs. But this is the Let's Play, obviously, so I'm already starting to rant about things, aren't I? But, you know, let's get into it. Let's get right back into it. I am seriously already kind of out of breath from yesterday. Or yesterday? Why did I say yesterday? I'm already kind of out of breath from last episode. So, you know. I guess technically yesterday because, like, it's Sunday now. And yesterday in Sims time was the last episode because, you know, Saturday. Why are you guys in your swimsuits in the hallway? Jeez. Hey. Why? Okay, you want the megaphone, you want the street art, but it's not in your stuff like that's what i'm confused about okay you should actually shower before you do anything i was gonna be like why don't you what am i no oh, that's the light never mind i was gonna say why don't you work on your story but you need a shower <laughs> you're still happy because you cheated and got away with it wow wow good for you so now let's go downstairs. Did you get money or is that just me? I don't know. I think you got money from writing more chapters. Let's hope these computers are not all taken. Because if they are, someone is dying. Here, writing. Continue writing your sto the story for Venus. Oh, you want to paint? I'll have you paint because you haven't painted it in a long time. And you also still need to up your guitar scale, but your guitar is at home. So you have to wait till you get home for that. Wow, you still have seven days till you age. Like, I, you were at five earlier. How are you at seven all of a sudden? Did you somehow slow down aging or something? Or did... I don't know. Because, I mean, I didn't change any settings when it comes into, like... Like, if I were to go into the options here... I didn't change anything when it comes to aging. They still have a 90-day 90, 90 lifespan. Oh, because I accidentally restored it to the default, so the numbers changed a little bit, but it's still a 90-day lifespan. But now she has more time as an adult. I'm, that makes sense now. So now she can get through her week, and she still she won't be an elder yet. And although I was a little uncomfortable at first of her becoming an elder and still being in school, um, the commer there not only are there real people that are like that, but the commercial has even um, has even says one of the commercials even says stay as aim to stay as long as you want or aim to, bleh, aim to stay as long as you can. And so you know, I mean it's not like that's the point of the game, but you know that's a joke the commercial has. Like, you're going to want to stay as long as you can. So I'm going to have her... She's probably going to finish up as an adult, yeah. Are you still boyfriends with your boyfriend? Yeah, that sentence didn't make sense, I know. But, you know, here. I could not find that. Yep. And then there's these people who I don't know. It's funny when random characters out of nowhere get mod hair. Like, none of these people have my mods, but there are some characters in the my town now. That I've, I did not create that have mod stuff. It's kind of funny. And then here's the people that I'm friends with outside of town. Although some of these people are probably going to die very soon. Is the sad thing. Because a lot of these people who were... I'm surprised Seamus hasn't died yet. Like what is this? And Alphonse I forgot became an adult. And then Steven is a... Oh Steven. Steven's a... No thanks. Steven is an elder now too. Jeez. Like, oh no. Oh, and then Tiffany at the end here. Natalie's already dead, so I mean... I don't know if Tiffany will be alive by then, but by the time we're done back home, but Natalie's dead, so... And let's see what's happening. Oh, I was busy looking at relationships. Uh, Yeah, talk to Maurice Springer, who I don't know if he just has gray hair or if he's an elder, or if it's actually blonde, because you don't look old in your face, but your hair is gray. And the funny thing is, he's one. Of, I think he's one of the people with mod hair. Yeah, he is. Like, what is with these base characters having modded hair? 
because he has the puffy mod hair that I um, downloaded for more rock style characters. And if you've watched my um, Let's Play with Ocarina so far, you'll find that friend Rick, Rick, whatever you want to call him, I tend to call him Rick because the friend part's just awkward, um, <laughs> has that kind of hair. And also, if you uh, follow me on Tumblr and have seen the screenshots um, of the Sims I created based off of the main characters in Can We Just Not, Hiroshi has that hair. Which, by the way, if you have not read Can We Just Not, as I've explained, go back to the video titled Can We Just Not. Click on the link to my Wattpad there, because that's the story, and I highly suggest you read it. While it does have more mature subjects, I am a mature person. I'm sure a lot of you guys are mature people, although I don't mind younger people watching these videos. Some of the stuff I do talk about is more for my age and older, just letting you know. If you haven't noticed already, although I do act like a child, I don't talk about childish stuff. Well, I do, but I don't. Like... Oh, did you finish it? Hooray, you finished it. You can start... A drama novel. I'm basing the title of this one, once I get there, off of a... Oh, yeah, I was trying to think what to call it. It's off of part of uh, Sailor Moon R, I believe. And it's called, um, it was called, um... What was it anymore? Oh, Amy's first love because of Sailor Mercury is Amy. And it was the first time she um, fe actually fell in love. I spelled Mercury wrong. Wow. So I am titling this. It's a drama novel, which is why I'm titling it this. Mercury's first love. I'm going to go in order. I already have Sailor Moon and then Venus Mercury. And then Mars and Jupiter are next, um, because, as you know, if you've ever heard the intro to the Sailor Moon show, obviously, hopefully some of you have if you're watching this. I mean, I know some of you are just watching this for the simness of it, and some of you are just watching it because it's mine, and some of you are just watching it because it's Sailor Moon. But if any of you are watching it just because it's Sailor Moon, or you at least know some bits about Sailor Moon, you'll remember that part of the intro in the English dub is, she is the one named Sailor... Sailor Venus which I've already covered, Sailor Mercury, which she is doing now, and then Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter. That's the order that they're introduced. So she's already finished Venus, and she's working on Mercury's. And obviously she's finished her own as well, because that's the first book I wrote. So... Let's see, this is the collection journal, which I don't know why I'm in this, because she's not collected anything yet. But, other people have. I think I was trying to click on something about your skills, but I clicked on the wrong thing. The skill thing is in here. So let's look at writing, which you're, I'm surprised you're still out of four, because I thought you already finished. Oh, it was a flop, too. That's why. So, moon is a normal. Venus was a flop. And then your collecting skill, I don't know why that's in here, even though you've, because you've never collected anything, I don't think. Nope, you haven't done anything yet. And then your thing here is the social networking and logic and everything. Athletic, you've luckily finished. And then these guitar, you're about to finish soon. So... It's cool to see the Simlish on the screen, though. But anyway, she's writing her book. I know watching her write books is kind of boring, but I guess that's just what she needs to do to up her skill. Although I don't get why she's still just the four with writing when she wrote all of um, Sailor Venus Goes to Venus and her writing didn't go up at all. The four is from... the Unless that took, took that long to up... Uh, uprising skill, but Sailor, um, she's the one named Sailor Moon got her up to level 4. I guess Sailor Venus Goes to Venus only got that little piece up because it sucked. But, you know, whatever. Oh no, did her skill go up or did she finish it? Her skill went up. Yeah, I guess it takes that long to up riding skill. So now she's going to the bathroom.
You need to get food because you're hungry. At least you're not starving yet, because if you were starving, I'd be really pissed because then you'd die before I could finish. Like, it's either, it's either graduate or die, pretty much. That, those are the only two ways this will end. Graduate or die, and I really hope it's graduate, because if it's die, I'm going to be mad, because I don't want her dying. Where's your kitchen? Where did the kitchen disappear to? Oh, it's over here. I'm dumb. Here. Eat food. Eat some salad. Why are you so sad? I wonder why they're listening to classical music. Can you not lag? Thank you. I was not trying to zoom in, but okay. So now I'm going to do what I normally do with these dirty crap. Who's on the phone? Or not. Whatever. Uh... I wonder why I have a graduation gnome. Oh, probably from graduating last time. Here. In memory of your... One of your closest friends who ended up dying. His name is Eddie. And then of course you have your backpack. I wonder if you can actually like look at what's inside of it though, like... Nope, it's just put it on or put it in your inventory, wow. Okay, you're gonna probably go to bed soon. But whatever, you can read a book outside. You wanna use your megaphone, but you can't find it. You wanna up your street art, but you can't find it. Like, what happened to your stuff? Did you just lose influence enough? No, because you have enough influence. Like, what? Just go to bed. He's sleeping. Why can't you sleep? Like, you were gonna go. I know you were gonna go read. But he obviously took the bench before you. Why am I this high? You should go to bed because bed is nice. Sleep. Because it is Monday morning and you have school. So sleep. Simple as that. You should sleep. Uh. Ow, my foot. Okay, I'm complaining about something stupid now. Hooray. Now, she is going to finally sleep. Because she has a C from last time, remember? I wonder what is on her bookshelf right now, anyway. Let's open this bookshelf. All you have is criminology and zombies. So let's put the Warlock of Palladia in here. The funny thing is, there's so many books on this shelf, and there's really only three in it. Like, could they at least be better with their graphics and only have books in that are in it? The funny thing is, though, the deaths in this game, I've heard, are really hard to come by. Which is blunt force trauma, and that is either getting hit by the Murphy bed, or getting hit by a vending machine. So, it's really just as simple as that. I kind of want to see someone die from a vending machine, but I wouldn't kill her. Especially not in the middle of a Let's Play. If I wasn't recording, maybe I'd be like, nah, screw it, she can die from a vending machine, but... This is a Let's Play, I want to be serious about this, I'm not going to just kill her. I mean, I could hack someone else into my family just to watch them die, but... I don't think that'd be very interesting. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. I'm being dumb. The bathroom is dirty. Is something broken? Nope. Nothing's broken unless the toilet's broken. The toilet's, the toilet's clogged, really. I'm not going to make you do it, but... No, you don't need to do that. You need to wake up and get to school. Or no, you need to paint as soon as you wake up. That's what you're doing. You're going to paint because you insist on painting. It's in your list of crap to do. So, let's...
paint. A large. So once you get done sleeping, you need to paint, and then you can get to your class after your paint. Because I need you to paint and sell it so that you can get money and do crap. And you keep getting money from the chapters of your books. That's good, too. There's a painting here that someone started, but you can just scrap someone's painting, like, fast. Okay, are you done sleeping? You're almost done sleeping. Hooray. Get up. Get up and come down here. I don't know why your mood keeps fluctuating. Okay, you got money. Oh, no, never mind. That's lifetime happiness for painting. I was gonna say what? She doesn't have enough for any rewards, I don't think, yet. But, nope. But, I did get her, if you haven't noticed, the fertility treatment. Even though she can't have kids on campus, I will call her boyfriend over once I get home. And I will have them actually have a kid. Just because I want her to have a kid to live on the legacy. Even if she does die early. <laughs> Although, sure, you won't get to see the kid in action during a Let's Play. Because, obviously, that's not going to work out. But, you know. That means that there's actually one more mod hair I need to download if they're going to have a kid. You will get to see her be born and crap, but you know, when she gets older, I'm going to change her appearance so that she can have that hair exactly. And your easel disappeared all of a sudden. Gee, what happened to your easels? They're gone. Oh, there they are. Like, they just disappear for no reason. I'm trying to watch her paint a beautiful picture, and that happened. When do you have to be in school? Two hours. Crap, I don't think you're going to finish this two hours. Because you're going to attend class, and I guess, yep, you're going to go attend class soon. Unless you mean you're going to skip class. But it starts in two hours, so I mean, let's hope you don't. Because if you skip another class, I'm going to be mad. Get as close to your painting as you can get. And I'll just have you come back to it after you're done with your class. Yo, go to class. Go to class. Stop painting. You need to go. Thank you. And since you were having fun, you can work hard. And when you're done with that class, you can continue. Just between classes. But for now, let's wait for you to come out of class. I always do this when they're in class. Don't know why. It's fun to see you around, though. Uh, <laughs> Weirdo. And then there's this chick who keeps running around back and forth. School cheer sucks, and now they hate each other. Okay, go back to painting. I don't care. Go back to painting. Back to painting. You have two hours. Go back to painting. And if you start skipping class, I will get you back to class. Because you have another class you need to attend, but you can paint in the meantime. You're too tired to paint, aren't you? Whatever, after class you can... After class you can get back to this master piss. Nope. No, why are you... No! Go to class! Why did you leave class? Go back to class. Thank you. You can paint after. Class was starting, too, and it said to do your business presentation, and I closed out the opportunity, and I closed out the entire class. Like, what? Get to class. Don't 
don't know why your mood is so sour. Maybe because you're so tired, but you will continue this painting eventually. And if not today, tomorrow. It's still sitting here. I bet you that you can probably finish it because you need to finish this so you can get some money because money is great. You're too stressed to do hard work. Okay, whatever. You done? Done with class? Done with class? You done with class? Are you done with class? Got a class. Thank you. Go paint. Can you paint? Are you gonna paint? Are you gonna paint or are you gonna cancel it? You're gonna cancel it. Okay. Whatever. Do it tomorrow. Stop being an attractive company of guys that aren't your boyfriend. If you need to do stuff, go home. Don't just... Like, you complain that you can't paint and you can just stand around and do nothing. Like, no, go home. If you really have these needs to fulfill, you might as well fulfill them. I do not trust you, so you need to eat before you sleep. Good thing you're already eating, Miss Stinker. Okay, eat your food. Then take a shower. Didn't you eat? Why are you canceling your food? No, don't. Can did you finish eating yet? I bet you you did. Mm. I said to take a shower after you ate, but fine, be in the shower. You still need to eat food, though, so you better eat food. Are you coming down to eat now? There you are. See, you're clean now, but you're still in a super horrible mood because you're totally exhausted, which takes out a bunch of mood. Same with Hungary. What? Did you really... You need to eat if you don't... I was gonna say, if you don't eat... I know you're tired, but it's either, it's either eat or sleep, and if you sleep, you'll starve. If you... My god... If you eat, you'll starve. So eat. You no, know, if you sleep, you'll starve. So eat. You done eating? Good. I don't care if you're disgusted from him stinking. You can go to bed now. No. Finish eating so you can get to sleep. Jeez, Serena. You just don't listen, do you? Whatever. And now she's sleeping because sleeping is great. You don't want to talk to this guy. You were disgusted by him a second ago. No. Well, then I think about it, I have skin, so I can change the skin. There's frosty white and jungle green. Oh, cool. The frosty white, and then... Oh yeah, these ringtones. These ringtones are typical phone ones. Why don't I checking this all of a sudden? But whatever, you're high in the rebel category, so I mean, you know. But yeah, it's fun to think that you can do this stuff with your phone that you can do with a regular phone. Nope. That's what she has, and it annoys the heck out of me. And I'm tired of that one, too. I've heard all of these, and I think that... Oh, there's this one, too. Nope. That's what she has right now. So you can have old standard, just because it's like regular house phone. I don't care. Dirty surroundings. What's, where's, what's dirty in this house? There's nothing dirty in this. What's dirty in this room? I don't see anything dirty in this room. What is your problem? 
Unless you're saying that she's dirty, and in that case, that's rude. <laughs> so whatever, you have stuff to do. Go back to that painting now, I think about it. Um, Let me just get her back to it. Where's the art school? Here it is. Let's get her to finish this painting, and then I can end this recording. Just because I need to end this and get the next one started. Just, I mean, you know. Let's get you down here to paint. You can see here coming around. There we go. Continue this painting now. What is your problem? This painting is almost done. Just finish it. Uh, let's de unsilence your phone now. It was just silenced because you got like three calls in bed. Hmm. 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 Finish it. Ooh, that looks pretty. Hooray. Whoa, that's a lot of money. That was a lot of well-earned money, dude. Okay. So you're gonna use a no. Do not use a pickup line on that weirdo. I mean, no offense to him, but you have a boyfriend. Stop flirting with other guys. Stop, stop trying to flirt. Okay, good, you're just talking to him. Are you in class early? Like, I don't even think you have this class today, but, you know. Anyway, yeah, she finished that painting, so that is uh, enough for this part of the session. I probably will record enough for another episode. I usually do three episodes in a session, so let's get the third one started after this one ends. Huh. I am getting really tired for some reason, though. I do not know why. I think the hyperness from last episode is starting to get to me now already. But you will still get another session. Why do you like him? Why do you have romantic attraction around him? Uh, you have a freaking boyfriend. Stop. Anyway. Yeah, that would not be a good way to end the video. So I get to say goodbye again. <laughs> Hooray. I'll see you next session. I'll see you next part of this session. I'm stumbling on my words again. Hooray. Um, yeah. So I'm going to end this now. Because I do really need to go. So I can start the next part. And, because it's not really getting any fun, simply because, like, all she's doing is going to class and all I do is complain. So, you will get another part of this complainingness, but from there, that's probably it for today. Unless I decide to do more later. So, I'll see you guys in the next part really soon.